Hey, how's it going, everyone? I want to go over a chart update on DLPN as DLPN was the biggest gainer of the day and we are looking at it after hours and it looks like it is continuing. And it, I know a lot of us are wondering if it's going to continue and possibly be our biggest gainer going into tomorrow. So I want to go over this one and the resistances that we are going to possibly watch out for as this one could come down if it does hit these walls and it does get rejected. So we're definitely going to watch for these. I'm going to go over these with you guys. And again, I like going over the very simple indicators that we do miss out on every single day. I do see traders missing out on the very simple indicators that they could be watching. And that's why I like going over these with you guys because honestly, I have much love for you guys. Now, let's jump right into this. Now, DLPN, again, was the top gainer of the day. Um, we did, I did day trade this one. Again, I couldn't, I sadly enough, couldn't tell you guys about this one uh, early enough because it was too quick to be able to mention, I guess. But um, I definitely saw DLPN did go crazy and I did day trade this one. And now we are going to see if this one does continue after hours. Now we're going to go to the five minute again. We did see this movement all day long. It was consolidating. It looks like it was going to break out. And then after hours, it jumped up to around $27. And it looks like it's sitting at around 25 at the moment. So again, we are going to be watching it right now and we're going to be watching it pre-market. Now, again, if it does break over 28.68, I will be buying. And the reason why I say that is because way previously in the chart, that is actually a very strong resistance. And if it does break this, it could possibly go to $40. So again, I'm going to go back to our monthly chart so you can see way back in history. And this is very relevant. You guys are like, well, what does it have to do with what happened back in uh, two, 10 years ago, you know, and actually it does apply. Um, again, charts are relevant. It does show investor confidence. And if people see that there's a strong resistance and it seems like a good time to take profits, people will, and it will um, sell off. So definitely we are going to watch for resistance here. Um, again, there's not much of a chart play. Again, it already has tons of volume. So we're not going to look at the MACD and the RSI or the squeeze on this again. Um, but however, we are going to watch this resistance. If it does break over this, I will be buying for a nice day trade again. If you don't day trade, definitely be careful because you could lose money. But again, um, this is what I'll be doing. This is not a recommendation, but however, DLPN is on the watch. And I, will, I am going to go over um, a, new, a few other uh, NFT plays um, and then a few sympathy plays to this as well that could pop. If this one pops, then they'll pop as well. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm going to be going into going into the next few videos. So definitely check those out. Again, much love to all you guys. I appreciate everybody that has been in the comment section. You guys have been showing me so much love. And again, if you haven't commented in there, comment in there. I have a gift for you guys. So I am going to be replying to every one of your guys' comments with a gift today. So again, much love to you guys. God bless you guys. And again, um, if you haven't subscribed, I do appreciate everybody that has been. So much love to you guys as well. But again, God bless you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.